the advice that I can give on to all women out there, um, first of all, is to believe in themselves. And uh, no matter what they're going through, not to hesitate to go find help because it's important. And uh, remember that they are not the only one. This is something that I've learned and uh, found out in my journey that all women, generally talking, they all go through the same challenges. So if, as they say, sharing is creating. That's why I share my journey. That's why I share my story to inspire other women. That's my vision of entrepreneurship is to inspire as many women as I can. So please believe in yourself and find a coach, a mentor that can mentor you to be able to live your fully your life or uh, live your dreams, make your dreams become reality. So I dreamed one day that I would be somebody, somebody meaning that I would have my own company I would but never dreamed actually never believed that I could be a business owner here in Canada that was a real dream that I made a reality President at the MOFIF, uh, and it's a French. It's for French immigrant women. It's an organization. Um, did you, or have you ever been afraid of accepting the position of being a president for this uh, organization? Never. Wow. No. Good. Yeah. Good. So tell me, uh, how was your experience, and how is it to be? a president uh, of this organization and what are the roles that you're doing uh, at this organization? Um, being the president of this organization, it's as you by the name, it's the, the, the immigrant woman, French immigrant woman movement yeah. in Ontario. Mm -hmm. And that, it's my, it's personal. Mm -hmm. the, the, the women's empowerment and the uh, financial independence is my it's my uh, it's personal mm -hmm. so MOFIF has the is mandate mm -hmm. actually to to empower those women through entrepreneurship finding a job doing a research and all that we don't give um, uh, in like in person services mm -hmm. but we refer all women French women to other organizations that we partner with so it wasn't i do as as the president as you know we have a development director for the first time after 15 years um, now mofif has a development development director uh -huh. so she's really doing the job and i'm very grateful to that okay. and i have the board members that are really they have my back it's i wouldn't say it's a title but we will start i've been uh, elected in july mm -hmm. so we are waiting now to finish this year mm -hmm. and next year we will start a lobby and i plan to go all uh, over ontario to meet all associations 
the women of all associations in all Ontario. Is it uh, to do with French women? Yes. Or? Okay, so French. it is uh, to do with French. It is, okay. yeah. It is. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's, so um, you are doing something for your community because I know you speak French. You're that's right. French. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're trying to do something to your community. Um, having said that, what are the challenges that you came across to become who you are today? Many, many challenges like, you know, uh, financial challenges, mm -hmm. psychological fa uh, challenges, mental challenges, mm -hmm. physical challenges, challenges, a lot, it's a lot of challenges. But when I started, so I was so excited mm -hmm. to say, okay, I, I will organize myself, so I will balance, spend more time with my son, as he said, as a single mother. Yeah. But it wasn't that easy. So I had to shift myself a little bit mm -hmm. to be able to, to balance that. Mm -hmm. At some point, I wasn't able to balance it. And when you don't, it frustrated you because I said, I don't want to sacrifice my son's education yeah. Either sacrifice my company, so I have to find a balance. Yes. So that it's um, the challenges I faced. I found solutions. Like you know, I I I stopped running because I said I did not have time, mm -hmm. and that's my energy where I go get my energy. Mm -hmm. So I went back to my running to have that uh, extra energy to mm -hmm. be able to keep going. As you know, walking out the desk if you. Exactly. Mentally, 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 it will boost you. It will boost you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's what I found. I said, okay, this is gonna help me mm -hmm. to boost me mentally, emotionally, physically, physically. and even psychos psychologically. How was it to be being uh, living in a shelter? Your experience. Listen, the beginning, I really found that living in a shelter, mm -hmm. it's not, it's the last thing that you could wish to yourself. So while I was living there, I was hiding. I did not want anybody to know where I live because you know, and that every day I could meet. My caseworker asked her, said, listen, we have to put a plan together. I have to move out of here. Mm -hmm. I have to, you know, I have to move out of here. So anyway, but whatever, I stayed there for two years. The program is for two years. Wow. Yes. So what I found, every time we check apartments, it's not easy. Like, you know, crappy places, you will find one bedroom. With my son, I said, listen, I'd rather stay here. At least I'm safe mm -hmm. and my son is safe mm -hmm. for the last two years. Mm -hmm. And then I would plan myself. I would work because while I was living there, I I, I worked. Mm -hmm. So I went to work and I said, for money, I said, okay, I'm going to like, you know, make this happen. Get out of there, be able to pay my, uh, my a decent apartment. Mm -hmm. So it's, <laughs> but today I would say that, was the best thing that could happen to me. Yeah. The reason behind me starting this company because I had the idea, I promised to some woman while I was living in a shelter, I said one day I will have my company and I will hire you. So that was a promise that I, I said mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. So I had to keep my word. Mm -hmm. So that's why I founded my company to hire those women and I hire immigrant women I hire single mothers, I hire those who are going through challenges and all that. Not only them, but I know they have that even language barrier, mm -hmm. no education, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. cleaning, we can train them so they can clean and love it, right? Mm -hmm. Because I got inspired by a lot of women in there. When I went in there, I thought my journey, my story was the worst. But no, I met, I heard some stories there, I met some women, I said, no, you should be thankful, you should be grateful, and that's how I started, being grateful, mm -hmm. stop complaining, and taking actions. Great, yes. great. Yeah. A single mother lived in a shelter, trying to, um, you know, support her son, 
and now she's the president of Morphiv and she's the CEO of Tap Cleaning and uh, what more do you need? I know there's a more, there's a lot for you to achieve and I, I can see that yeah. and um, that's, that's really amazing. Yes. So, well, uh, Asiato, your journey is quite inspiring and uh, interesting and uh, I really appreciate your time. I know you're very busy and uh, thank you for taking, uh, giving me some time to do this little chat. As a thank you, uh, a token, I would like to present you this book. This is um, a very motivational and inspiring uh, book and this author actually wrote this book uh, in, he dedicated this book to those who believe that efforts may fail but one should not fail to make an effort mm -hmm. so i'm sure this will be beneficial for you i'm sure thank, thank you, you so much. much i appreciate it you're very welcome thank you all right guys i hope you all enjoyed this video until i see you guys on my next video dream big achieve big ciao from diana